but ask the question. So, can you tell me, uh, John? Uh, you've just got been come back from Baghdad. Can you tell me, uh, you know, tell me all about it? Nice, nice, big, fat, open question. So, which hotel did you stay in? Uh, uh, what time of day did you arrive? All these little questions that will be in your mind as I'm talking, and I won't necessarily say I was staying in the public hotel, I'm sure, um, that it was the uh, morning that I arrived. Uh, you've got to make notes, so tell them you're going to take them. You're going to make notes of the questions, filling the gap. So, you you take notes, you need to know which hotel I stayed in, you need to know what time, you need to know all of these other facts that won't necessarily come to my mind, because what I'm going to give, tell you is what's in the top of my mind. Okay? So initiate the free open thing. Big fat open question, do not interrupt. And that is counterintuitive. We all want that little bit extra, and as you say, so <laughs> it's bloody infuriating. And what happens is, as soon as you interrupt me, I'm going to stop. Uh, uh, implicit. I, I'm just going to wait until I ask the question. I'm going to stop thinking. And that's what happens as you interrupt. The, the interviewee or the other person stops thinking. You know, you're taking the strain. Fine. You carry on then. Um, and that's, that's why I'm say, talking about control. So I feel I'm in charge. Then you sort of let them speak. And you say, OK, I just want to fill in some gaps. Again, so, where did you stay? What was the hotel? Was it very busy? All the things that I didn't say, um, which you do at that. Okay. That's about acquiring the first bits of information.